Hello and welcome to Nature Talk News, brought to you by James, aka Hiker James, from the sunshine state of Southwest Florida, where there's nature, there's news. Hello everyone, and we would like to thank everybody for joining us on our first show. I just want to kind of give everybody an idea of what this is about. What we're trying to do is inform people about nature news um, all around. It's just pretty much wherever. We get a lot of news here in Florida, and we get a lot of news from other places that we find it would be interesting for listeners to uh, be aware of. Uh, some news is is funny news, um, and some news is really sad, but we figure you have to mix it up you can't just have all bad news and I know that uh, a lot of people out there are getting tired of hearing just bad news on the on radio or on television so we're trying to mix this up to where we can have a variety and my name aka hiker James this was a name that I came up with when I was uh, oh, a few years back when I was doing a lot of hiking and uh, I wanted it to be different so where it would uh, well, it's just a different name you know um, when you type in Hiker James I, I didn't want it to say Hiker James so I changed the spelling to J-A-M-Z so it's still a lot of people call that hiker jams it doesn't matter if you call it hiker jams or if you call it hiker james but when you go to find uh, a search on google or anywhere else and you type in hiker james j-a-m-z you're only going to get one and that's me so Hey, if you want to check out some of the stuff I've been doing, I, I've had a lot of plate things uh, taken off, and it probably still shows up. But search me there, and, and you'll learn some information about me. Uh, we have an email address, and what I'd like to do on this show is people who listen from different parts of the country or different parts of the world. I know you have news that we, help, we don't hear in southwest Florida. So if you've come across anything that is really interesting or you think even other listeners might be interested in, copy the link to that uh, wherever it is you found and send me that link. And we'll go through it and if we can read every word on it, we'll, <laughs> we'll read it on the air. But if we can't read every word on it, we will... Um, Oh, what do you call? We'll we'll cut it down to where it makes uh, more sense in the English language. So anyway, this email address that we use is nature talk at outlook dot com. So if you just um, just send me a quick email and with the link to the news that you think would be interesting, go ahead. And but no, the only thing that uh, is required in the subject line that you put N T N those three letters N T N and that will distinguish whether or not this is junk mail to me because all these different emails coming in they automatically go to my junk because I don't have any of you people out there saved in my con contacts so yeah, just th them three little letters there will let me know that, hey, don't delete this uh, junk mail. Let's look it up here and read it. So NTN, which stands for Nature Talk News. Um, so anything interesting out there, uh, we'd well, like to hear about it. And we'll share it with the world. So that's pretty much what we're trying to accomplish on this show and we're also trying to have it out every Wednesday by 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. That's New York time for 
people around the world uh, don't know what Eastern Time is, that's New York Time. And I think everybody knows what New York is or where it is. So they can kind of go from there as to what time it comes out. Now, both the, we're, we're putting this on two different shows. We'll have it on 1,000 mics, which uh, it was fairly new to us. So we might we might have a little problem getting that one going the way it should. But also we have it on um, Spreaker.com. That's uh, S P R E A K E R dot com. Now to find it on Spreaker dot com, you want to go and and uh, type in aftercash dot com, and that's spelled A F T E R C A C H E. Now, if you have something to write this down with, you might not have to listen to this whole episode over just to get that we'll tell you more about that in just a minute so while you're looking for your pen and and paper uh, after cash is one of the shows that I had just ended we only ran eight episodes on that which would uh, two months Um, my wife and I were doing that and that was called nature talk also but we we deleted that one out because we wasn't getting any feedback. Uh, well, now this this information is mostly for the ones who's listening to thousandmics.com because if you're listening to this already on aftercash.com, you don't need to know about it. But anyway, we just throw it in there. Um, so we we decided to let that show go. We have done. A show before that and I think that one ran uh, 40 40 some weeks uh, that was about geocaching and uh, geocaching is the outdoor sport the uh, uh, treasure hunting game for any age with uh, uh, GPS devices and well blah 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 you know <laughs> Uh, if you want to know more about what that is, go to geocaching.com and you can, you can check that out too. But we kind of gave that up because it was just getting too hard to stretch out there and find uh, geocaches. We've got everything in this area where we live and we've moved down here to Naples back in December 2014 so I've only been here about six months but we've already taken up the area of what we call reasonable driving for looking for geocache and altogether uh, I've been doing these podcasts and broadcasts for about three years I'd say and uh, the first one that we did, we did, uh, I had a co-host from uh, Bullhead City, Arizona, and his uh, geocaching name was K&B, him and his wife, Ken and Billy, um, they they helped me out on the show when I first started, it, they jumped in there and I got him to be a co-host, and so we done fairly good on that. So, but, you know, times change and everything, and now we, we're trying to get kind of like a photography going where my wife and I would take some pictures. I don't take so many pictures, but she does. And we use these photographs as, as a talk show. Well, we got to thinking that if this is nature, I'll start the new show about nature news because there's always news about nature matter of fact we uh the uh, florida the i guess you would call it the state animal is um not i get well they're 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 getting extinct it was a panther the the panther uh 
there's less than 200 of them now worldwide and there's a lot of them here in Florida but they keep getting wiped out with um, traffic because everybody's building uh, putting up new buildings new roads and everything it's running them out of their area so we're going to talk about things like that and this is what our news uh, nature news is going to be like uh, so anyway well, this is basically the first thing I wanted to let everybody know is what this show is going to be about yeah then then you can uh, wait until the next show comes out which I'm trying to do like every Wednesday and I'll have a half an hour of news <laughs> yeah that's half an hour <clears throat> did you ever did you ever sit down and I listen it, 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 this tells you pretty much what I have to go through to, to do this show if you sit down in a room with nobody in it and you look at the wall and you talk to yourself for 30 minutes and make sense of everything you said it's not going to happen and a lot of this I, I'm just reading this off of different articles that we receive so there's words there that I wasn't educated enough to learn how to pronunciate pronounce them <laughs> there you go to pronunciate them uh, so a lot of times I'll just um, replace that word or something to where uh, I can I can really get with the program here uh, I'm not reading anything right now I'm just talking off the top of my head and like I said you know when you sit there for 30 minutes and talk to yourself and make sense then you're good at it uh Okay, well, I think I'm going to just wrap up today and let this be our first program, just a, a little introduction to what our show is going to be about. But like I said, uh, send us some news. Um, uh, give us some uh, addresses of websites or you know articles or news off of your, even if you're, you, you're looking through your, um, your social media and you run across something that's interesting about nature news. It doesn't have to be just about animals. It could be about uh, the birds, if there's any local or, or any kind of news about birds or what I can, like I say, nature. Uh, we have we have armadillos here in Florida, and we had I had a video that I took of an armadillo in our yard, and we have deer and. Uh, the female deer just had uh, the little fawn I guess you'd call it um, you know, about maybe three weeks ago and that's interesting to watch them roam the yard we're surrounded by woods uh, cedar trees and palm fronds and different sorts of things and there's an area pretty wide open area here and other than that we have some raccoons that run around in the yard and there's like five of them and I think I'm hearing some babies out there every now and then so hopefully we'll get to see some more of those we have fox and right now there's a male and a female fox and they get pretty close uh, the male fox doesn't really get quite as close to us as the female does now we have had the female fox come up within three feet of us and it's 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 a cute little girl there uh, the male he won't get within 50 to 60 feet from us and that's all he'll push it I don't know why but um, the the male is a lot a lot more scared of us than the female is and they had a baby also um, I don't know how long they keep them in their den until they let them out and try to show them the world but we did see now the daddy brought the the baby fox out one day and brought him up into the area there where where we were always watching him and that like I say was about it's about 80 feet from from where we're at and so we can zoom in with the camera or we can zoom in with the video 
uh, got binoculars that I watch them with quite a bit and so anyway the let me explain to you the, how I can tell the mama from the daddy uh, it's real simple if you watch them every day you get to pick up on some things when uh, when the daddy's sitting out there or standing well, a lot of times they just sit down and look around and see what's going on but when you call the daddy and he looks up at you with a straight forward look you know the the mama fox when you call her she will look up at you and kind of cock eye or cock her head kind of cock eyed <laughs> it's funny i mean it's really something she has that little twist in her head and looks at you kind of almost sideways and we're wondering what the what the baby fox is going to grow up to do because he's just something else and and uh, the mama fox brought the baby out one day and uh, they came out to this area also and we have quite a few pictures of both all three of them uh, we've got the mom and dad together we've got the dad and uh, and the baby together and we've got the mom and the baby together so it's interesting it's fun and this is what we do out here we have alligator oh uh, I would say less than an eighth of a mile from us and there's a canal that runs through and I have a picture of the alligator up on top of a rock with a large I think it might be a snapping turtle I don't know but it's a huge turtle and then the, the alligators laying right up alongside of it they uh, they say we have otters and I can't wait till the otters come out that's got to be something interesting um, Wow there, there's so many different types of animals out here and we talk about that and we watch the news and we watch the uh, reports and stuff on them to know what they're doing and where they're at uh, the state of Florida the, the Florida wildlife uh, they tag some of these animals and keep an eye on them so they can keep up with their habitats and things like that we're not too far from the Everglades down here uh, I would say 30 minute drive and you're in the, in the Everglades and a lot of animals a lot of them uh, so anyway we want to bring you all the news that we can on these animals and, and my, my wife she, she does a lot of bird looking and uh, lots of things that she does different than I do but my hobby is uh, running this podcast I've retired and that was something that I thought would be interesting to keep me going and keep me, uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, to keep, keep me active. So, yeah, I enjoy it, and I'm just glad that uh, I can find some listeners out there to kind of help me out. So, anyway, look, we're going to go ahead and end the show for now, and I'll give you those... Um, email and things here like I said the uh, the email address for the show is nature talk at outlook dot com and you can send us your articles or whatever for that and also let me give you uh, the other address there aftercash.com if you're on 1000mics.com listening to me you can also listen to us on aftercash.com spelled A-F-T-E-R-C-A-C-H-E dot com ah wow I almost lost my service here but um, a website is hikerjames.com blogspot.com let me spell that out (laughs) h-i-k-e-r-j-a-m-z dot b-l-o-g-s-p-o-t dot com alright 
I hope y'all got your pencil and paper before I got started on that, like I uh, mentioned it like a little while ago. But uh, we'll try to put all this stuff in the show notes and uh, and information as we go. So then we're gonna we're gonna go and see how how the ratings go on this show. So until next week, see ya.